and welcome to this quick two minute video on how to delete an assessment point. Uh, we've all been there, we've entered something we didn't mean to. So if I start off in the individual assessment page here and I'll just load up the first students there. Um, so Sam Wilson here. Let's say I entered these two and I didn't mean to do it. It was a complete accident, they were meant to be something else. All I need to do is go to the history on the left hand side if I click on that and then it invites me to select a cell to view the history. So let's say self-correct spontaneously. I select that. I can then see that there's a master there. If I hover over it, it tells me that I entered it, so I know I did it, and I can just tick delete, and it's like it never happened, okay? Um, please don't ever be tempted to do the following. If, let's say, I meant to enter a gaining skills for this one here, and I enter that, it looks like I've changed it. However, if I go back to the history, and I look at that, I can see that this was originally a mastered and then it went down to a gain of skills and understanding. That in fact would be regression, that wouldn't be just the uh, correction of a mistake. If I want to correct this again further, I just tick the box and it's like it's never happened. However, if I go to show deleted, it tells me that it did exist, there was something else there that existed as well. Um, so you always know if something has been removed. A word of warning, because you can identify who entered something. Um, if I go to step seven, if you proceed with deleting something that another person has entered, so again, history, look at this one here, um, and I entered this one, but let's say somebody else entered it and I delete that, it's now got my name on it. Okay, so you need to be aware that if you delete somebody else's data, they will know it was you. Okay, so that is how to delete an assessment point in Connecting Steps.